All right, so as you guys know, the last couple weeks have been pretty crazy down here. We went from the Saudi trip, um, basically straight into the Florida trip, and now we're here. So it took a couple days to just kind of get situated. I spent literally the last two days doing nothing but cleaning and organizing the shop because it's been such a mess. And then, of course, as you guys know, we dropped the web store, and uh, I have to give an update on that because, so we had some issues when I was away from Florida, and we weren't able to get out as many orders as I was hoping. So as you guys probably noticed, a lot of orders that was shipped during like the last two weeks or so uh, might have not got shipped out yet. Uh, we're really behind, and uh, I'm hoping to get basically everything caught up in the next three days. Thank you guys for being patient. I apologize. We'll make sure this never happens again. But if you guys are worried and you want a personal update on your order, I'll put the email in the description that you can email, and uh, I'll respond to you as fast as I can. So, all right. Big video, big title, everything's crazy. Now, I don't want to talk too much because I hate when it's just all talking, but I feel like I need to kind of set the stage before. Because I feel like this might be kind of controversial, but I think this is going to be an amazing idea and I think it's perfect and a lot of thought went into it. So, before I show you guys the engine, which you probably could tell in the thumbnail what it is, um, I just want to give you the platform behind the build. So as you guys know, I bought the Civic and I know a lot of you guys wanted to see me do like an all-wheel drive K-series swap or something crazy along those lines. But for this, I wanted to do something different this month. I wanted to try and challenge myself and Brian. Um, and more importantly, not break the bank doing it. Because as you guys know, car stuff is really expensive, um, especially once you start trying to do something out of the norm, then it gets really expensive. As you guys could probably tell, I wanna do a real wheel drive Civic. I don't wanna do it the way like a lot of people have been doing it lately where you take a all wheel drive car, all wheel drive trans, you kinda just pull the front axles out and you just have like this real wheel drive thing to do donuts with. No, I wanna try something where we take a real wheel drive drivetrain and stuff in a Civic completely change everything about the car and make something really, really special. And I wanna focus more on the fabrication and the making it work aspect other than just dumping money in it because I could bolt together all-wheel drive Civic tomorrow if I fill up a car online of 15 grand worth of stuff. So trying to find the right drivetrain for this really drove me nuts because I wanted to do something different and cool and fast and fun, but I didn't wanna break the bank and trying to find an engine or a drivetrain in general, sub. 1500 bucks that has room for potential is very, very hard. And especially since I decided I want to do a four cylinder, mainly just for weight, nobility, and just fitment reasons alone, you know? So after much, much consideration, trust me, a lot, I decided to go with. Surprise, surprise, a KA24. Now you guys who guessed a K24, I guess you're not too far off. <laughs> so of course, as you guys know, this is a stock 240SX motor. It's a 2.4 liter, four cylinder, not that big, not that heavy, super easy to get parts for, super affordable. And on top of that, it makes great torque. It makes okay power for what it is, but it also leaves us some potential to possibly turbo it down the road because I think NA alone in the car will be awesome, let alone having the option of going turbo is just something to be excited about. So as you guys see, I have another S13 in my shop right here and B Hall's here. Dude, you're blocking? What are you doing here, doggy? I'm on my afternoon break. I just, uh, yo, where's the Red Bull? I came for a Red Bull. It's in the bathroom and behind the shower. Right, cool. So as you guys see, I have myself another janky S13. So of course, my goal is to get the drivetrain for as cheap as possible. And I worked out a deal with my buddy where we kind of split this car. I'm getting the drivetrain and I towed it around and he gets the shell. So what's dope is I'm getting the entire drivetrain for less than what I'm selling my D-Series for. Heck yeah! That's what it's all about, boys. You want to do crazy stuff? Jug and finesse. Jug and finesse. <laughs> so here we go. This is what we're doing today. We are pulling out this stanky ass KA that runs well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, getting it ready to throw in what? The good old Civic. I think it's pretty fitting. I think it's exciting. Yeah, right? Like, tell them how crazy I went trying to figure, like, pick an engine for this oh man like there's so many choices like we can go like expensive we can go cheap we can go honda we can go something different we can go like front wheel drive rotated sideways um but i think honestly like 
for trying to put it together in a timely fashion, this thing is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot. I, I, for you guys who are down and now, wait till we're finished. You guys are gonna think it's the coolest thing ever and I couldn't be more excited. So, Brian, I don't know what you're doing here. Go back to work. I'm gonna start yanking this out. See you later, have fun. I'll be back. It better be, uh, I, I don't know if it'll be out of there because it's kind of fun to pull it and drop it on the ground together. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to work. That's great. That's that's cool. That's real cool. Since you guys always rip me on it, and a bunch of you guys were actually cool enough to send me a couple, uh, we're gonna use the engine leveler for once. Yep. Gotta make sure my new baby comes out safe. <laughs> I've been so stressed pulling this engine right now because I know the comments are blowing up. I know a lot of you guys are excited because this is sick and you guys are sick and it's gonna be awesome. But I know there's a bunch of comments that are like, oh, you should do this instead, you should do that instead. And yeah, there's a bunch of good options, but trust me, I've weighed them all and this just makes the most sense. So just trust me, from a guy who's done so many engine swaps, this is the best bang for the buck. And no, you can't do whatever you're thinking for that cheap. It just doesn't work that way. <laughs> but I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get this thing the heck out of there. Easy as that, boys. All right, so it's very apparent this thing is crusty. It's been sitting for quite a while. And look at this, surprise, surprise, the front main seal has probably been leaking since 98. So that's dope, but don't front to Northeast engine. Every engine bay from the Northeast looks like this. So a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of gaskets and this thing will look good enough for that thing. All right, so it looks like we got an aftermarket clutch, which is cool. Um, probably won't use it. Uh, it's been sitting for a long time, and uh, it's probably an eBay clutch, it looks like it, so might not use that. Besides that, the engine actually looks a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be, um, which is good news. The front looks pretty toast, but it's always a mystery with these things. You never know, but uh, I'm happy with this one. So uh, now it's about that time. It's the time I've been waiting for. You guys have been waiting for it. See how this thing actually fits in that engine bay. So here's the big moment. As you guys can see, this engine bay is super wide. It could probably fit a boxer engine, no problem. So the engine might look a little goofy in there. And on top of that, we could see pretty quickly that the subframe is going to get right in the way and be a huge issue because it's meant for a front wheel drive engine. Look at it. This thing's bulky, it sits in the back. We can't even use any of this. Like we can't even chop it up and try and make something off of it. We gotta start from scratch. It's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a challenge, but we got this. Look who walked in, mid-clip. Woo, the... back to Jimmy's garage. <laughs> you know what's about to happen, Tony? Oh my gosh, I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of, is that a KA, are you serious? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> damn, making huge changes. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, oh right? Oh my gosh. So That's gonna be awesome. Well, everybody's like on the K, like 24, K20 yeah, waves. So so. Everyone told me to do K24, and I, I think I bought the wrong K. Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> oh, you're doing a K, KA, but that's gonna be awesome. I'm hyped. Wow, I did not expect that when I came in here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. All right, so first test fit, let's go. Hi. Hey, Hi. welcome to today's vlog. I had, so I had to wait for Brian for this, of course. Um, yeah, you didn't, you didn't uh, put the tranny on. You were nervous about that, huh? What do you put it on? Where's it gonna go? You should have bought the saws off. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, kid, not yet. Archie, get over here. It's a big moment. Why is he such a nerd, dude? Where's he going? I think he's gonna go return that part. Cool, whatever. Tony, you ready? Let's do it. 
Is that our chain? Yeah, Jesus. That's an honor net. Oh, we're going to No, lift the bumper Forget, up. Get rid of the bumper. What do you mean lift it up? So lift the car up. Lift up that side. I'll kick, ready? Oh, I just bent the shit out of the fender. I told, see, remember this truck tower and you yelled at me for ripping the thing apart? These things are made out of tin cans. There we go. Dude, that looks like, that looks kind of cool in there. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Another half inch looking. in the hood would close. So it actually looks a lot cooler than I thought. It's nice because we have a lot of room on both sides, uh, especially if you want to turbo it. We have enough room for a top mount manifold, which is pretty cool. Engine's got to go back, obviously, like another six inches. So we'll have plenty of room for the radiator and a fan and everything, which is good news. And it looks like we might not have to cut a crap ton of the firewall out. What do you for the trim? What do you think? Probably just just above the heater core hoses, just about. I mean, you were still gonna still gonna have to cut a lot. I mean, look the. I know the transmission is going to drop when it gets to about here, but at least probably still to a, just above those heater core lines. We have a lot of plans to do. Me and Brian have been, you know, doing our research, but uh, we're kind of freestyling this one, which is going to be the fun of it. So uh, time to get creative and have some fun. Yeah, exactly. That's I think that's going to be the, the soul of this build, just the fun of building. Let's be robbing off of this thing. All right, I'm trying to rob as much as we can just to save us, you know, some money. Because if we can make something instead of buying it, that's always the goal, right? Right. So this is like the stock trans harness. We'll use this. Basically, all we need from this is the alternator plug and like a couple power wires that go to the starter. It'll just make life a little bit easier. And then there's supposed to be some parts in the trunk that hopefully we could utilize. There's two engine harnesses. Double uh, the fun. Double. The, yeah, there's two and uh. We got two junk ass harnesses, but together we can have one good one. What else we got in here? Ooh, headers. All right, Dell. Oh. oh, that's the same. Oh, we have two headers. Two sets of headers. I knew this was double the fun. Oh, these are a little bit nicer looking. Screw it, I'll take it. We'll cut these up, a little bit of more fab action. We're ready to play. Some jugging and finesse. That's that? that's siding. <laughs> she goes, baby. Extra power steering pump. I'll take it. Boom. There we go. A little short shifter action. I'm sure that'll fit right into the city. Yeah. Direct bolt in. Direct bolt in. You can't forget our computers. All right, so at this point, it's like, where do, what do we do next, right? That's the part. <clears throat> now we gotta get things out of our way. So I think we're just gonna start by just getting everything out of the engine bay because nothing's gonna stay. Like literally nothing's gonna stay in here. Maybe the brake booster and master cylinder and the fuse boxes, but everything else is gone. So we're gonna strip that. Uh, we also have to get the subframe out of the way. Uh, we're probably gonna remove the rack and actually just cut the subframe in pieces. So the suspension still kind of held in, in the car so we could roll it. And then, yeah, we'll just go from there. This is our first time doing anything like this, so I'm pretty excited. I'm just super excited. This is gonna be fun. Okay, first step, more importantly, what, RJ? We're gonna get rid of this turd. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> what up, fellas? <laughs> it's been so long, Donald. It has been a while. Are you gonna come around more or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it here, it's on camera. <laughs> Yep, that's right. That's DJ. We've missed him so much. He's been so busy. Come back, Donald. We miss you. All right, let's get this thing out of here. How are we, how are we, how are we doing this? How are we... We're just going to push and pray. Say it, Donald. Say it. That's tight. No, that's not what you say. It's gooch. That ain't going nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> Later. He's got this, right? Yeah, he's good. He's good. So we got the motor out, got it separated, uh, got a rough idea of how it's gonna look in the engine bay and I couldn't be more excited. So tomorrow, game plan, we're gonna strip everything out of the engine bay because nothing has to be there. Uh, we're gonna cut the subframe in thirds so we can get the engine to sit a little bit farther back and get a better idea of where we need to put it. And then we gotta start brainstorming how our custom front subframe is gonna look. Um, I know the throttle guys right now are actually doing a very similar thing but with a K-series, which is super, super gangster. Um, 
Really, really pumped to see how that car comes out. And I, I saw how they did their sun frame, super smart. Those guys down there are super intelligent. So maybe we'll mimic something off of that. Or maybe we'll do something else. Me and Bryx have a cool idea of using almost like a 240 front end. Maybe we'll try it out, whatever. There's no wrong way of doing it. Uh, it's gonna be cool. So um, yeah, but today was awesome. We got to see Donald, long time no see, kid. Long time no see. <laughs> what do you think of the KA and the, the Civic? I didn't even know that's what you were doing. Really? Today. Yeah, that'll be dope, though. I mean, how how are you gonna how are you gonna? That's the big question, man. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned to find out. But this is gonna be awesome. Hope you guys are super excited because I am. This is gonna be pretty dope. Oh, pretty dope. I don't think that's been, has that been done. So I actually found a hatch online. They did it, but it was pretty cool. Uh, Na or Na? Yeah. So Na yeah, first. Should get rowdy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's cool. I'm pumped. So with that, we're going to end it for today. Leave, the exci leave some excitement for tomorrow. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Donald, have a great night.